Hello guys, how are you doing? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is Victor once again. It's another day and we have another scholarship. If you're joining us for the first time, where have you been? There are lots of videos already on this channel on fully funded scholarships from around the world. So look around. I'm sure you'll find something that, that catches your interest. And if you're a returning viewer, returning subscriber, thanks for coming back. Thanks for the constant support. And I hope you get your scholarships sooner than later. So in this video, we'll be looking at scholarships expiring by the end of this month. And by this month, I mean by the end of May. So this video will get to you on the like 22nd of May. So you have a couple of days, like one week to put your application together. And these scholarships, most of them will be in the UK. So let's begin without any further delay. So the first scholarship we're looking at today is at the University of East Anglia, is the David Sainsbury Scholarship. So there are two major kinds. The first one is worth 35%. That's not what we're looking for. The second one is a full scholarship, which is worth, let me get my highlighter quickly. Okay, this is a fully funded scholarship and covers full cost of tuition of over £33,000. Then you get a maintenance grant of over 18000 And then you also get £4,000 for travel cost to cover your flight ticket, your visa application and things like that. So this is wonderful. This is a complete scholarship. Tuition is covered. Your stipend is covered, travel cost is covered. It cannot get better than this. Then this scholarship is for those from, is for those from um, developing countries, lower middle income countries. I think it's also written here. Um, least developed lower income, middle income countries. So you can see it there. So if you're from countries within this category, number of countries in, Asia might fall into this category, some countries in Africa might fall into this category, countries in Latin America. So just check your category if this if your country falls into any of this category. And for this scholarship is for those who intend to study for plant science. So plant science, if that's your field, I think you should go for this fully funded um, David Sainsbury's scholarship at the University of East Anglia. So if you scroll down a little, you get the application procedure and the deadline you can see that the deadline is on the 20 is on the 20 or 31st rather of may and i don't think there's a different application process all you need to do is to apply for this course and if they think you have a good enough profile they also nominate you for the scholarship and always read the instruction here as well to see if you if there's any other thing you have to put together apart from your normal application package so please go for it if you're interested in this program so the next one we'll be looking at today is at the university of sheffield this one is particularly for applicants from the african continent and it's for those um, taking courses in the department of geography so once again let's get the highlighter let's see if it's going to come out this time Let's see, where is our highlighter? Oh, the highlighter is not coming out this time, that's fine. So it's for those from um, the African continent. And then, okay, good. Full tuition, you can see here, and you get a stipend of, you get a stipend of 8,000 pounds. Then you also get accommodation. You also get accommodation at the university campus so this is great this is wonderful so let's see um, these are the departments eligible international development environment and change um, and um, i think this is masters in public health yes mph usually in public health and international development and for those classified as international students not having funding from any other source of government and other information. You can read the rest yourself. That's fine. So the application process, I think you have to apply for one of the eligible courses and then return here to apply for the scholarship. So the scholarship is different from the the scholarship is different from the scholarship, the admissions process. 
it means apply differently for their admissions and then come back to apply for the scholarship. However, since the deadline of the scholarship is on the 28th, which is not far away, only those who have applied already possibly can meet um, this deadline. So if you've applied to Sheffield already and you're an African student, an African applicant, and your course is among the course we looked at initially, then now you can apply for the scholarship. But if you've not applied to Sheffield at all, I think it's a little bit too late because it takes about three, four weeks for your application to be considered. And then um, you can now apply for a scholarship. But by then, it's probably too late to apply for a scholarship, if you get what I mean. So for those who have applied already and probably has received an offer, I think here they actually want you to receive an offer for you to um, apply for the scholarship. So just click on this link. Some of the essays you used for your admissions application, you can recycle them, package them, and use for your scholarship application. So wish you good luck if you fall into this category. Let's go to the next one. This one is at Queen Mary University of London, and it's called the Deep Mind Scholarship, the Google Deep Mind Scholarship. Someone actually got this scholarship um, on this channel a while ago. I think this was last year. And the scholarship is also fully funded. And for those who are studying courses pertaining to like computer engineering, artificial intelligence, machine learning, and things like that, the deadline for the scholarship is on the 10th of June. But try to apply as soon as possible. Do not wait till then. The scholarship is fully funded. You get your tuition fees. So cost of tuition fees. You get your allowance. You also get um, conference allowance. So this is great. And there's even equipment allowance as well. So tuition fees covered. You get your stipend. You get your... Um, annual conference allowance and you get your equipment allowance. So how do you apply? I think this scholarship particularly is for those in computer related fields. It's also for, I think there's one position open for home students and another position open for international students within here. And usually they prioritize female students, female students from black backgrounds. So that's, um, if that's, it is you, if that's you, if that describes you, I think you should go for it. The application procedure is also stated here. I think you have to apply separately for admission and then return here and apply for the scholarship. I don't think you have to wait for an offer, but try to get an ID, an applicant ID, then return here to apply for the scholarship. All the essays you need to apply for scholarships are already on this video. So just look around, you find sample of um, scholarship essays and you will be fine. So before we go, we're going back to one of our favorite websites still. If you're looking for a PhD in the UK, you should know this website by now, jobs.ac.uk. So when you get on this website, you click on find PhDs. So go to the different departments, you can say biological sciences. And then when you get here, also use the filter to check for funding type and say international students. So these are the funding um, opportunities for international students. 44 of them, if I'm from the biological sciences, looking for a PhD. So go through and see which one closely aligns with your interest and then apply. Of course, check for other departments, other faculties, other fields of specialization. The last one will be at the called findaphd.com. Also quite similar, you have different fields. Click on the fields that, the field that interests you and then use like the filter function to indicate that you're a non-European student and then it will show you the different opportunities available to you. So a number of times when people tell me they cannot find PhDs, they cannot find this, they cannot find that. I just know immediately that they've not searched properly because these websites, this findyourphd.com and this one, um, jobs.ac.uk, often or even not always, always have opportunities for people, especially those interested in a PhD. So if you're looking for a PhD and you've not perused this website, I don't think you've started yet especially PhDs in the UK and sometimes in Europe in general. So that's it, guys. These are the ones I just want to bring to your notice. We started with this one at the University of East Anglia, fully funded. 
and um, you can see this also covers um, transport travel allowance. Then we go to Sheffield as well, also fully funded with accommodation as well. Then Queen Mary, also fully funded. Then these two websites to search for your PhD. And that's it, guys. I hope this was useful. If you've not subscribed, this is a good time to do so because many more opportunities are coming your way. I know I've taken a break for a while. As a number of you know, I've already, I just finished my PhD and defended, and I'm trying to like settle down and um, put things in place. But do not worry, many more opportunities are coming your way. Another application cycle is actually coming. August, September is not so far away as well. So once again, lots of materials coming your way, lots of tips, lots of opportunities. As usual, we cannot wait to celebrate you. So get to work and start putting your documents together. And I will see you at the top sooner than later. Bye-bye for now. Cheers.